that time for special needs kids starts to get more stressful and less relaxing as the kids grow bigger. That's why I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison of two popular bathtubs, the Riften Wave and the Otter. By the end of the video, you'll feel like bath time can be safe and fun again. Both of them are pretty similar with only a few differences that I'll point out. The Wave is brand new, so disclaimer, it will look nicer, but I'll go through all the options for both. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's dive in. The Riften Wave comes in two colors, pink and blue, and it has three sizes. We pick the medium size and, of course, the pink for our daughter. The base is lightweight, powder-coated aluminum, which prevents rusting. If you want technical measurements of the different sizes, here is a brief look at the dimensions. The head blocks limit head movement and prevent injury. They're plasticky and a little hard, but you can place a washcloth on each side. It is height adjustable with side velcro straps. And yes, the wave is a little too big for our daughter's small frame, but we're hoping she will grow into it as insurance won't be willing to pay for another chair. This retails for about $400, but that price can go up or down depending on additional accessories you want to add. The backrest can be adjusted with the gray handlebar in the back to various angles, even when your child is in the seat. The straps attach to the Velcro lined on either side. The first option we chose to add on are the lateral straps to the tub because our daughter has hypotonia, which means low tone, and these help provide her with better trunk support. This is also height adjustable. We also chose to add the leg supports to keep the legs from sliding all over the place. It's just added security, I feel. I like that these straps are padded, so they're a little bit more comfortable. We chose to add the calf supports. And I think this is a very important addition to the bath chair so that your child's legs aren't dangling, which can eventually tire them out. This is also adjustable using the gray buttons on the side. There is additional padding to the chair, which makes the seat more comfortable. The seat itself can be adjusted using the tabs on the bottom of the chair in 15 degree increments. And the angle is important to prevent your child from sliding down and for overall comfort. If you can't tell, I'm all about providing maximum comfort. There are just so many variations to the way this chair can be adjusted. Play around with it and find what works best for you. To change the angles of the legs, pull out the legs and rotate them up or down. The bath chair doesn't have to be just for bathing. You can also pack this with you and take it to the beach or to the pool and place it in shallow waters so that your child can enjoy the outdoors. Pulling out the legs all the way adds about seven inches to the height. The wave is light enough that I'm able to carry it into the restroom by myself, although it does take a little bit of upper arm strength. I lay it directly into the tub, just like this, and I have a standard sized tub, and as you can see, it fits comfortably in. I find it easier to adjust the height and the seat after I've placed the wave into the tub. The optional tub stand adds about 12 inches to the height of the wave, which is a major save for your back. To attach the chair to the stand, line up the legs to the sockets and push down until you hear a click. And I'm struggling a little with it here, but it's usually a little easier to line it up. So you can either add the stand, which makes it much easier on you to reach your child, or you can lay the wave completely flat and fill up the tub. Do whichever is easiest for you. I feel like younger children might like to be in a filled tub. I use the shower head for easier access. 
The fabric is a polyester mesh-like material which is removable and machine washable. The water passes easily through the fabric so there isn't any stagnant water at any time. And I like that this material allows it to dry fairly quickly. Now to remove the top stand, press down on each of the four gray latches. And this part is always a little difficult for me. The legs on the top stand can also be adjusted by pulling them out and moving them either up or down. And lastly, there is an option to add a shower stand, but we chose not to because our daughter has her own bathroom with a tub. The wave is easily stored. You just pull out the legs of the wave, adjust the backrest and the calf rest so that it lays completely flat. It doesn't take up any space at all. After it has dried, I store it upright in the closet. Next up, we have the Otter. It retails for about $349, but again, that changes with any add-on accessories and from where it's purchased. This particular one was donated to us before we were able to have insurance cover the wave. The auto comes in three different colors, green, blue, or lavender. I've added the reference chart so you can check to see which size would suit you best. We chose the medium size. There is a single bar in the back that can adjust the seat in increments of about 20 degrees. It's also easy to use with one hand. I feel like the long bar made it smoother to adjust than the wave. The legs on either end can be adjusted to allow the tub to reach a height of 7 inches as well. The ends are also slip resistant. A major difference between the tubs is the lack of the option to add a calf raise. And like I said, that is a really important component to a bathing chair for me. It might not be so much for you, but just a heads up. The seat also has a single bar on the bottom to allow for adjustments in various angles. The leg supports are not padded and they are a little flimsy. They attach to the side with Velcro and it can be removed and adjusted. This is how we received the tub from a donor, so I'm not sure how it would come brand new. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the leg straps of the Wave and the Otter. The material of the Wave is just thicker and softer than the Otter, which is a rougher material and it's pretty thin. Also, the one that we have did not have any add-ons other than the leg supports, but you can choose the option for a headrest, lateral support. You can also choose to have a tub stand or even a shower stand. The Otter fits well into the tub. It has a plastic base, which prevents rusting. The Otter is easier to carry than the Wave because I do think this one is lighter. Another main difference I noticed was the fabric. While it is removable and machine washable and quick drying, it's a vinyl material and therefore not as soft or I think not as comfortable as the fabric on the Wave. They do have an option online for the soft padded polyester fabric, but I think that is something that should be standard in the product regardless. The otter can also be adjusted completely flat and stored in an upright manner in the closet. There you have it. I really like the Rift and Wave for us. I felt overall it fit our requirements. But at the end of the day, either one of them will make bath time safer for you and your child. I do hope this video helps you decide which bathtub would be best for you. Let me know if you have any questions below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!